It's Tom O'Brien, a mental health herbalist, back today with a video about depression. So in my practice, I meet a lot of people who come to me because they experience depression. And I use herbs and natural healing and diet and food and lifestyle changes to help people find their way out of depression and into a life of vitality and well-being. And in part of that journey, my understanding of depression is that it's not a disease. And that's one of the big theories about depression, that depression is a disease. I don't believe that depression is a disease. I believe depression is an experience of loss. And Kubler-Ross, a famous Swiss psychiatrist, wrote a book in 1969 about death, and in that she described five stages of grief, and the fourth stage was depression. And it makes sense because uh, I think Often we're not aware that we've lost something. You know, for young people uh, going through puberty and growing, becoming an adolescent, there's a loss going on. You know, a loss of innocence, a loss of a childhood experience, and now they're moving into adulthood. And there's so many losses there body changes, loss of friendships, loss of ideas, loss of perceptions of life, life changes, and there can be disappointments along the way. And we move into adulthood and we get a job and we have a relationship and we get a house and then suddenly maybe the relationship ends a huge loss relationship loss is one of the biggest forms of loss we can experience as social beings we need to be connected and we are interconnected and when we're not connected with others we are isolated and isolation is a really crucial foundation for potential depression because uh, we're not born to be isolated yet our culture and our society tries to nurture the idea we're individuals, which we are individuals, but we're never really happy, content, peaceful individuals unless we're interconnect with others in family, friendship, circles, or community. So loss in relationship is really a big area for people. Um, other losses can be change of job or loss of job, change of home changing to a new home, moving to a new house for whatever reason, good or bad, but there's a loss going on there when we uproot and take all our belongings and take the pictures off the wall and bring them with us. So other losses can be financial loss when we lose financial security. That's a huge thing and we've just been through one of the biggest economic downturns and it has affected billions of people across the globe. We're living in a time of insecurity, global insecurity, climate change and all that goes with that. Um, war and, and famine across the world. There's still people today dying from famine. People living under the threat of war and terrorism and global insecurity and corruption. In Ireland we have a housing crisis, we have a health crisis as well. If you go to hospital you've paid insurance all your life and you, you experience the loss of not having the treatment that you deserve. Or you live in a society where there isn't houses, you've lost your house because the bank has, has taken it. And this, the, the huge debt of pain that goes with that, and the loss of confidence in the government that can't provide and won't provide housing. And you end up in an insecure hostel or a hotel. And there are children in Ireland growing up in hotels and the loss of security of even just seeing their mother cooking and simple things like that. The loss of body changes, you know, as we grow older, go through different phases of life, menopause and putting weight or losing our health or losing self-confidence, self-belief, self-esteem. There are just so many, many types of loss that we experience and often we're not equipped are ready to deal with those losses and that's what Kubler-Ross describes as denial and anger and bargaining, the early stages of dealing with loss where we just don't deal with it but then we end up experiencing depression. Depression is not something that you know is triggered by your biology, it's something your biology is responding to life circumstances. Your, your, your body, your physical body, your spiritual and psychological body is responding to the experiences that you have found yourself in, whatever that loss is. But you're not consciously aware at that moment that what has created 
this depression, what has led you to feeling depressed. And then the physical body starts to become inflamed. And it's one of the new theories of depression is that it's an, in, an inflammation. The body feels under attack and that's what the body does when, the, when we're under attack is the immune system responds by inf, inf, inflammation response. In, in the society we live in then, you know, the, the dominant thing is, is, is to cope. You know, we're, we're told to cope with our feelings and to cheer up and, and, and don't be so sad and, you know, look on the bright side. And often people around us don't understand what we're experiencing don't know how to help us and we're quickly referred to our GP who doesn't necessarily understand how we experience either. The majority of GPs, doctors, medical doctors um, will quickly prescribe us antidepressants and I just seen a statistic there in the UK, something like 5 million is spent every week on antidepressants and in America there's something like 100 million adults on antidepressants. So globally Depression is a huge problem and it's absorbing huge resources. You know, five million a week uh, in sterling in the UK could be used for a lot of other things, but it's been used to treat people with depression. Me as a health practitioner, as a herbalist, you know, when I think about treating depression, I'm, I'm not thinking about, um, you know, keeping people on a cycle of herbs for a long time. I, I want people to get to the root cause of their depression, which is trying to identify what have they lost, what security have they lost, what comfort have they lost, what assumptions have changed, and what threats do they face, and what do they need to face. I think that's how depression should be looked upon, is as primarily a loss, how do we identify it, how do we support people, grieve and deal with it, and move on, and what herbs or medications, but in my case, what herbs can I use to help people, you know, deal with the symptoms as they move forward out of depression because unfortunately a lot of people end up on antidepressants, repeat prescription, sometimes the prescriptions are changed and uh, at the end I find people come to me when they're at, the, at that end stage of you know the antidepressants haven't worked and they're looking for a natural solution and or the antidepressants have worked for a while and often that happens is you know people feel the placebo effect or the, the you know th there is a honeymoon period and then after a period they get dependent on them and then uh, they're terrified to come off them so i'm working with people who are trying to come off antidepressants or who don't want to go on to antidepressants but they want psychological social and herbal natural food sources of support to help them get through this difficult stage in life and it is possible but today's my focus today was just to help you think and reflect on the idea that depression is an experience of loss and until we get to the root cause of that loss um, we will remain trapped there. The, the, the fifth stage in Kubler-Ross's theory of, of grief is acceptance and acceptance is really accepting all that within me is part of who I am. So if I'm angry it's me, I am angry. If I'm sad and depressed I am sad and depressed. It's owning the loss, accepting, moving into acceptance is extremely difficult. It's not easy because we live in a culture of denial. We live in a culture of happy, 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 you know, uh, Instagram. You're not supposed to put down, put sad faces or uh, tell sad stories. But the reality is that people are hiding a lot of pain behind these masks of happiness or I'm okay. But inside, I'm, I'm broken, I'm sad, I'm struggling. And a lot of people, you know, in jobs and in families, struggling to keep things going. And often antidepressants help people just hold things, things together for a little bit longer. But, uh, you know, eventually things fall apart. And that's acceptance, is accepting and letting go. And then building a new experience whatever that is, uh, acceptance of my body, of how I feel, of life, of what the future holds for me, what the present holds, the relationships I'm in, the work I'm in, the money I earn, all these things. Acceptance is the most powerful way to live our lives and ultimately it's a basis of mindfulness and forgiveness is the key. Um, we can spend our lives rationalizing and uh, trying to figure out, but we can't solve these problems with our heads. We've got to solve them with our hearts uh, and forgiveness. It's, we need a spirituality. We need a spirituality to live a life of wellness and peace and happiness. 
and love. So I hope you got something out of this today. Um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments what has been your experience of depression, of loss, grief, and any thoughts that you have on my perspective. I'm not denying that your perspective is different or maybe unique or you don't necessarily have to agree with me. I just want to share this with you today um, so that if, if you're experiencing depression, maybe you can think about, you know, have you an awareness of the losses that you've experienced? Maybe to do a list of all the losses in your life and acknowledge them and start looking at rituals. Maybe in future videos, I'll start looking at ways of supporting you to to acknowledge those losses and say goodbye to them. And, um, you know, then you got to build in a whole healthy lifestyle. It's This is psychological self-awareness uh, development I'm talking about today. But, you know, to support that then, you've got to nurture yourself with good food uh, and, you know, mindfulness practices and body techniques and physical activity for a healthy, good life. It's been my pleasure talking to you today. If you've watched this video to the end, thank you, and I hope you subscribe and share this video with somebody else that may help them. And hopefully I'll see you in a video very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.